Hello, welcome to Farm Space. Right, I've got the privilege of standing here with Johan and uh, we're talking Conserata SR auction and uh, we're going to talk about what is putting on auctions for you, what you're, what you're looking forward to. But if you missed our previous uh, interview, there's a link at the bottom, please go and listen to it and find out what exactly this breed is all about, Conserata is all about and what Johan Dunhauser is all about. Johan, welcome again to Farm Space. Thanks, Tinas. Uh, it's always great uh, coming down to Paris or Weyfeld, as you guys uh, call it. And it's um, and looking at cows like this, and we've just spoken about it, it is absolutely gorgeous looking at quality animals like this and a privilege having them in South Africa. Yeah, no, thanks, Tinas, for the compliment. Yeah, I mean, it is our privilege to breed with these cattle. Um, since the breed's been recognized in the end of last year, this will be the first auction of the breed as in South African breed so obviously it's a great privilege for us to to be involved with that yeah we try and offer every breeder the best quality animals possible so that they can go on the same path as we've been on for the last 10 years or so and just breed with quality and uh, and and good genetics farmable genetics mm. uh, you said to me in an earlier conversation that it's important for you to to put great animals on auction because we you as a breed need that to go forward and new breeders need that to start correctly and start from from a good position yeah i think it's been a considerata philosophy since the Jan van den Nest days where offering your best cattle is the only way of improving this breed and growing the breed if i keep selling bad cattle it won't last very long so we go out on our best note to try and find the best possible cattle we have on the farm most of these cattle are embryo born uh, cattle and the, uh, most of them have been flushed already by us so um, it's not it's not sell cattle these are my best cows we're selling so anyone who's interested in this breed is more than welcome to come and have a look see what we're doing and if you're interested in starting with this breed um, there's definitely a, a cow for every farmer uh, in mm -hmm. this offer yeah um you can look at them and, they, and they, the one looks like the other here, but there is a little bit in size difference or, as always. A um, little bit this and that. You can say a little bit more uh, different way of thinking for those guys who like a very tight sort of um, animal and those who a little bit more capacity. There's, little, there's something here for everyone and that's sort of how you pick them out, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's an offer that gives you a broad spectrum of breeding, possibility for every farmer. Um, we try and offer from z to a on the farm we believe in australian genetics we are drought masters so we need australian genetics in our cattle so the calves are all 25 percent australian bred um, some of the cows are already also australian half bred uh, quarter bred cattle so uh, we believe in australian genetics for the adaptability and the hardiness of the cattle um, uniformity in the drought master is almost our slogan we mm. believe in uniformity it's what makes us different to some of the other um, indica synthetic breeds in the country um, so in our breed and our herd is the same thing um, having uniformity with the cattle is crucial very important um, not just from a breed but me as a person as well i'm a pretty <laughs> i'm a full of nonsense type of person so mm. i don't like big differences in my cattle so uh, obviously the drought master suits my own lifestyle as, as you can call it um and then drought master uh, we, we spoke about it earlier in the conversation but just how they adapt how they really adapt and they're really tough coming from australia and and um, that's what people don't understand bringing those that's why those little that 25 percent is so important because the way they farm their um, hardiness fertility is not a choice it just happens because that's the way they farm yeah no exactly i mean every every country is different so uh, we're not trying to be australian yeah not at all, but they have certain traits in their cattle that are crucial for you as a commercial farmer. Uh, being commercial farmers predominantly ourselves, we understand how important it is to have adaptable cattle, profitable cattle with low input and high output. Um, and this is where this breed just slots in perfectly. You know, it's the type of cattle that does well on the felt, mm. it does well in the feedlot, it does well on backgrounding, it does well in every aspect of farming. It's just an all round cattle. Um, and that's why that's why we love it and that's why we farm them we and also they're beautiful we we believe that your, the cow you farm with you should you should love them because they it's not it's not an easy business farming and it's not an easy business to be a cow farmer so to love your cattle is like your children so 
obviously we we love them and what's not to love Johan, thank you very much uh your cattle is looking great um congratulations on on what you're putting forth and i say i think the breed may say thank you for wi being willing to put these animals out there and selling them oh, thanks very much to us okay there you have it we will see you at parais afridome on the 13th uh, of uh, april and I make sure you be there and find out what you can buy how it can become part of this exceptional breed and maybe take the way forward for another south african red breed that is really going to make a difference until next time cheers